Welcome. This video has been brought to you by Unacademy. My name is Mohit Gupta and in this video we will be talking about regular expressions. A regular expression is a sequence of characters that forms a search pattern mainly for use in pattern matching with strings or string matching. Do not worry about much about this formal definition that is given here. We will look what a regular expression is and then it will become clearer. So let us jump into that. Different notations and their meanings. These notations are used in forming the regular expressions. So let us have a look at them. The most simple one is A vertical bar B. This means A or B. Simple enough. Another one is a vertical bar B curvy brackets star this star means zero or more occurrences of whatever it is following here it is following A or B so this means zero or more occurrences of A or B similarly there is another notation plus that means one or more occurrences of whatever it is following and the square brackets contain if there is a hyphen between two symbols it will contain all alphabets within those two symbols so here it will contain all alphabets from small a to small z if the there is a difference between small letters and capital letters in regular expressions so please mind that if it contains capital A to capital Z then this will be the regular expression now let us look at what a language is a language is a countable set of all possible strings over the given alphabet okay to understand this let us take the example of english english has 26 alphabets and these 26 alphabet form the entire language so english is a language over these 26 alphabets let us take some examples to form reg languages from given regular expressions. Let us take the most simple one which is A or B. It is very clear that only two elements are possible in this language and e only one of them can occur at a time because of this OR symbol. So the language will contain strings A and B and that's it. Another example is A or B followed by another A or B. In this language we will take combinations of ORs from these two brackets and form the language strings. The strings can contain AA, AB, BA, and BB. Another example would be A or A star B. Let us form the language from this. It will be A B A B A A B A any number of occurrences of A followed by a B. Why? Because we have this star here, that means 0 or more occurrences. If we have 0 occurrences, then the simple string will be B. If we have 1 occurrence of A, then it will be AB. And so on. So we, in, in this portion, we found out how to form languages from given regular expressions. Now let us try to do the reverse of this process where we are given the language in words and we will form the regular expressions from it. So now we are given a statement defining the language which is strings of A's and B's that start and end with A. So we are given that this regular expression should start and end with A. So we place A's at the start and end and it can contain A and B so it might contain A or B any number of times so 
this is the simple regular expression for this language let us see another example all strings of lowercase letters in which letters are in ascending lexicographic order a lexicographic order is the order which the dictionary follows which is a to z so to form this regular expression we will have a star b star c star until z star why because a string can contain a it might not contain a so zero or more occurrences to each alphabet of this language simple enough subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash an academy to watch the coming videos of this series that are dfa nfa and nfa to dfa conversion if you have any queries or doubts ask me on twitter my twitter handle is at the rate hi dot underscore mohit gupta or leave a comment in the comment section of this video thank you keep watching